Hello and welcome back to Declutter and Mend, the series on my channel where I cope with feelings of existential dread by asserting dominance over my physical possessions. We are back today with another decluttering video. Not what I had intended to film, but you know what? I'm starting to feel a little suffocated by my belongings. So today I am tackling my winter wardrobe. So I'm not gonna try on every single item and I'm gonna try to make this a little bit more expeditious than the sweaters. That took a really long time. I have a lot of blazers for someone who's not really sure if they're a blazer person. I literally only keep this one for like the off chance that I'll need to wear something office-y. <laughs> this blazer is so gorgeous, but I always forget to wear it. It's just black velvet. I don't know. I haven't worn this. No, I wore this once. I do really like the velvet. <laughs> If you haven't seen my two other decluttering videos in this series and have no idea what I'm talking about, probation just means that an item is at risk of eviction from my wardrobe and I'll review its status again later in the year. This was actually part of a load of vintage stuff I got for free over the summer. I think I just need to like take out the shoulder pads. Yeah. yeah, this is my first mend item. I don't know though, is the oversized blazer trend over yet? This is such a nice blazer, but I don't think I'm ever gonna reach for it. This was also one of the vintage ones I got and it's so nice. Ugh, and just the beautiful buttons. I think it would be better if I send this to a home that will love it. It's okay, we're uninviting some things from the wardrobe party. I just filmed my whole segment of my blouses without my mic plugged in. I don't really know why I had this hanging up. I'm gonna remedy that. This is a vintage blouse that I picked up at the th 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 thrift store. I always stumble on the word thrift store. And even though it's technically a little too big for me, I really, really love it. When I bought it, it was not missing a button, but now it is. <laughs> Another vintage blouse that I got at the same time as the green one. I really love this color, but I don't know if it loves me. <laughs> I've had this shirt for a really long time and I was really sure that I was gonna keep it, but I just, I'm not loving it right now. And the fabric's really, really cheap. It's the Forever 21 fabric. I got this blouse more recently secondhand and I love the, the ruffles around the collar. Also the cuffs have velvet, which I couldn't tell from online when I bought it. So it was kind of a surprise, but a pleasant surprise. So by making this video, I learned that I have an unholy amount of plain tees and long sleeve tops, as well as three college shirts and three La Dispute shirts. What can I say? They're my favorite band. This is my introvert shirt. I like just got this t-shirt, but I don't really know that I like it that much. I think I picked it up just because I was like, oh my gosh, Gen 1 Pokemon, Pokemon. they're so they're cute. So cute. <laughs> but I have too many t-shirts. So I love Over the Garden Wall, but I don't think I love this t-shirt. I don't remember the last time I reached for it. So if anyone else out there was a huge fan of The Outsiders as a preteen, you'll understand why I have this shirt, although it bothers me that it says stay golden and not stay gold because it's wrong. <laughs> I think this is technically an athletic t-shirt. I thought I got rid of it. I don't know that I've ever worn it for sporting purposes. I don't remember why I bought this. I like it though. It just it feels a little bit um, not compatible with my usual day-to-day -day roles. I would have loved to have had one of these in high school. That's when you can get away with like wearing really weird stuff, at least if you're in public school. And I mean, I don't wanna say no one cares, but like you're not subject to the demands of adulthood. <laughs> uh, like I don't know where I would wear this, but I like it and wanna find somewhere to wear this. Applebee's. I do like this top, but I haven't been reaching for it. I kind of feel like it makes me look really broad. I mean, I am a broad. <laughs> But, uh, so this was a hand-me-down that I kept because I really like the color, but I haven't reached for it. This top washes me out so badly, like to the point where Charles thought I was naked from out of the corner of his eye. He was like, Nani? are you even wearing anything? It's so soft though, so I want to keep this as like a pajama shirt. So I have two plain turtlenecks, black and brown. And then my last top that is not pajamas or a camisole is just this kind of sweater vest. I like that it's kind of um, 
a bit of a 60s look. I just think it's cute. And cozy. These cargo pants got tighter in the two months since I acquired them. That's disappointing. I was thinking that having dance tights on underneath my pants would like help me slide them on and off more easily. <laughs> that was not the case. These actually aren't as bad as I thought. I think these are gonna be on probation though, just because they are a bit on the tight side and I don't really reach for them that much. We'll see. What I like about these jeans is that they're black and they're skinny and they're high-waisted. What I don't like is that they collect lint like it's their job. I am getting rid of this pair of skinny jeans. I thrifted these over the summer even though the dressing rooms were closed. That was a bad idea. They were really tight when I got them. I've worn them maybe twice. The other day when I tried to wear them, it was like, I could get these on if I keep struggling, but at what, but at cost? what cost? It's not worth the negative feelings about my body that it gives me, so I'm gonna get rid of these. Oh yeah, I also have two pairs of jeggings. I find they are very useful when I just need to throw something on to go to Walmart and I don't feel like looking like one of the people of Walmart, you know? Elevate, Elevate your style. Your Sweatpants to jeggings. Okay, I guess these are technically a jegging as well, but they feel more like just legging. And I like the color and I have worn them a few times, but I don't love them enough to keep them around. Especially because the waist just doesn't fit. Like, it's super loose. What, what, is, what is, this? is this? Not having it. So I think my ideal pair of corduroys would be a little higher waisted and more of a rust color. So these are my good enough for now corduroys. This pair shouldn't even be out with my winter stuff. The thing is, outside of a few lookbooks this past year, I haven't worn this. I think what I don't like about this one is that because it's like a stretchy fake denim, it sits in my hip dips rather than just making a straight like that straight A-line shape. You know, that's just how bodies are. That's fine. But like I, mm, I kind of want to replace it. This is my favorite skirt and she's not going anywhere. I literally just got this skirt and it's already too tight. and I don't want to get rid of it, so I need to lay off the hot chocolate. I quite like this color. The silhouette is fine, but I don't think I would wear it casually, like outside of an office environment. And lastly, just this plain black half circle skirt that has pockets. Oh, did you hear that vocal fry? Pockets, pockets. Final, Final round, dresses. round, dresses, let's do this. I really love this dress. I feel like it's just the right amount of feminine detail but doesn't overwhelm me with like ruffly frilliness and it's got this like cool little like dot pattern Ooh, texture. texture i go back and forth on this one i feel like it's too little girlish on me but i like this dress oh no 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 oh that's not even a dress so charles really likes this one i think i'm done with it though <laughs> I, i've outgrown this in more ways than one it just reminds me of a much more juvenile time in my early adulthood. It is really comfy though. This one's skating on thin ice. So I realize this is not a winter dress, but I do keep some technically summery dresses out through the winter to layer underneath things. This is one that I keep out year round just because it can be layered. Little black dress, nothing else to say there. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so short. Okay. Uh, this was one of my favorite dresses for a good two years, but one, it shrunk and two, I expanded. That's not a good combination. This one's gotta go. This is a more recent addition. I haven't had a chance to wear it out yet, but I really like it. I look like the classiest person you could ever want at your funeral. I go back and forth about whether or not I want to alter this dress or just keep it as is. I got this probably for like four bucks at a thrift store, maybe my freshman year in college. I've had it through some of the weirder times in my life and for that reason, sometimes I want to get rid of it and be like, be gone, be gone thing that thing has, that weird, has memories weird memories attached. attached. But I also like this dress a lot. This is another ancient relic. I might have had this since high school. I don't remember the last time I wore this out though, just because it's really short. I'm more likely to layer it over tights or something in the fall, which is why it's out with my winter things. I think this is the last of the ancient relic dresses. This is great for layering. It's also great in the summer. And again, this was one that I almost 
got rid of in the great 2018 purge when I moved in and Marie Kondoed all of my belongings and got rid of a lot of clothing that I later regretted getting rid of. That is what it shall henceforth be called, is the great, the 2018, great 2018 purge. purge. So I'm glad this one survived. I used to wear this shirt dress a lot for work, but I wore this out a couple weeks ago just to see if I still liked it, and I didn't. So I think I'm actually gonna get rid of this one. This is unofficially my Valentine's Day dress just because it's a wintry tweed and pink. Another thrifted dress that I really only wear as a layering piece just because it is so short. This is my Christmas dress. Oh, there's a tissue in the pocket. It's disgusting! It's made out of a tablecloth. I love this dress, but I've never worn it. There has yet to be an occasion for me to wear this to, but actually, I don't know. It's kind of like fitting weird now, and I'm not really digging this silhouette as much, but it's so pretty, and I spent a lot of money on it, which that was dumb, honestly. Out of sheer reluctance, I am gonna put this on probation. Another thrifted little black dress. This one's just a little bit more formal. These were the only three items that I identified as needing fixing at this time. The green blouse that's missing a button will have to wait though because I have to purchase a button that matches the fabric. To remove the shoulder pads from the blazer, I opened up the lining and cut them out, then hand stitched the lining back together. I also decided to try loosening the neck of this turtleneck by creating two buttonholes at the back. Stuff that fits too close around the neck makes me feel like I can't breathe, which is no good. So I was hoping this would make the shirt more wearable for me, but in the meantime, I just managed to make an unintentional hole that I now have to fix. Go figure. Lastly, here's everything I ended up deciding to get rid of at this time. For the items I would normally donate, I've decided to try listing them as a free bundle on Facebook Marketplace first, since our local thrift stores are still really overwhelmed. So that's my winter wardrobe. Uh, yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. <laughs> It definitely feels like I have a little bit more space on the rack there now, and my drawers don't feel quite as stuffed to the brim. Now that I feel like I can breathe a little bit, um, hopefully I'll get to a few more creative projects this month rather than just decluttering, because um, decluttering's all well and good, but that's not what makes my heart happy. I don't really know how to wrap this up, so um, you should you should just get out of here, because I'm, I'm going to bed now. Bye.